It's once again time to talk about Engineer Unlocks, and this time we're gonna look at Jude Navajo. Today's video is sponsored by Secret Lab. We all strive for the best possible gaming experience, but the importance of a good quality chair is often underestimated. Secret Lab produces some of the most comfortable and high quality gaming chairs you can get. So upgrade your commander chair today and fly in style and comfort. Follow the link in the video description to their store, type in your height, your weight, and it will tell you which chairs fit you for the best possible seating experience. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous Odyssey. We're once again looking at unlocking engineers and today we're going to look at Jude Navarro and let's just dive right in and let's take a look at the requirements. You should be familiar with this by now. There are three things you need to do in order to unlock engineer. You need to learn about them, you need to do them a, um, a favor to get access to them and then another favor in order to have them tell you about the next engineer down the line. Looking at Jude here, we can see here we know uh, about him from common sources. So first step, already done, you should always know about him. Next, we need to complete 10 restore and reactivation missions, or all reactivation missions important here, so it can be 10 in total, um, a combination of the two, you don't have to do 10 of one or 10 of the other, it could be 7 of one, 3 of the other, whatever, you can do that as you see fit. And then finally, we need to deliver 5 genetic repair mats in order to um, gain access to the next engineer down the line. Now we can actually complete the two last steps in one go, because when you do these reactivation missions, you will of course gain access to the bases and you can go and find these. So we need to be clever about our base selection when we do the mission to optimize our chances of getting these genetic repair mats. So we're going to find ourselves a mission board and the mission type we're looking for is of course in support. Good choice always do is just go over and select materials here, just so you can see what kind of materials um, you can get as a reward. Settlement assault plans, I don't know if that was could be interesting, but you can now go and see if there's any materials you might need. So keep an eye on, this, on the different materials you're going to need for your uh, upgrades down the line, and then pick materials accordingly. In this case, they're all going to the same location here, but if you have options, try to go for bases that sounds like a a manufacturing plant, a mining facility, so something like productions or manufacturing or anything in the name that kind of indicates that this could be a, um, a facility, a manufacturing facility of some sort, because in these industrial buildings, which will be on those site, you can find these repair mats. They can also be found in med bays, but med bays are often relatively small in size, apart from a very few bases. Whereas the industrial areas are often very huge, they have tons of lockers, so there's a good source for those genetic repairments. Once you arrive at the base, get out in your Maverick suit as you will need the arc cutter. And be careful when you approach the base as NPCs can spawn and they will most likely be hostile. So it can be a really good idea to just approach the base with a little caution and see if there's anybody around. It seems like the base is empty in this case, which is perfect. So we could just go right ahead and head into the power plant. You can easily locate the power plant, especially if you jump up a little bit, as it will have big letters on the side of the building. There we go. This says PWR as the power building. Sometimes the power building can be incorporated as part of a habitat, so just be careful of that. And since we already have a level 3 access, no need to overcharge the door. You can just go right ahead and power it on. Go up and put in your power regulator, which will be on the goods. It should be applied, uh, supplied as part of the mission when you pick it up. And you can then go ahead and power on the base. Now, in some situations, you will have the base being on fire and you will have to go around and uh, shut up all the uh, atmosphere. As you can see here, for instance, we do have fires. So once I powered up, I now have to go and, uh, and turn off the atmosphere. You can either go into the buildings and look for the uh, the panels. There's one here that will power on in a second. There we go. That's the building atmosphere. Deactivating the building atmosphere will, of course, extinguish the fires. And you just have to do that for all the buildings. But while we're here, this is a really good option to actually go around and loot the base. Because, as you can see here, you can get some pretty interesting stuff here. I got some weapon schematics here, building schematics and some suit schematics. That's not too bad. And this is where looking for industrial buildings can be a huge help in order to locate those genetic repair mats. There's none in this. There's a command building, there's a storage building, and I believe there's a habitat over there. We can go and, uh, and loot. 
But right now, just basically run around and take everything you need. Now that we have taken everything we need from the base, you have three different options for what you can do. You can either A, just leave it, go back, complete the mission and take another one. Of course, this will help you towards your goal of finding the 10 missions you need to complete. But if you find a base with a favorable loadout with lots of industrial buildings, so you can find those repairments, or if you just in general want to find uh, some more loot at that place, you can cycle the bases. And you could do those in two different ways. The first way is just to go back into... Wow, well done with the lighting there. You can just go back into the, uh, to the power plant and you can shut down the power center again. This is going to give you the, uh, the regulator back as it's right now locked up in here. The shutdown process does take three minutes, so it is rather long and it's quite a bit of a wait to get it back out. So it does add a lot to your loop time. But after you've done that, after you've taken the regulator back out, you can then run back out to your ship, head up into Super Cruise, come back to the base, and you can complete the whole thing again. This is not going to count as a completion of the mission. It's only going to count the moment you go back and you hand it in at the base. So. In order to get those 10 mission completion, you have to go back to the base. But if you just want to keep looting it, if you find a favorable loadout, you can do that. Now, the third option is to just, as I'm going to do here, is to say, well, I completed the mission, but I may still want to loot the place, but maybe I'm not interested in the data. So I can actually loot the place in its power down state without actually having the mission. So what you can do here is just without taking the power regulator, we can head up into Super Cruise, and as soon as we go to Super Cruise, we are immediately gonna drop back into normal space, like so. And we should only be like 12 kilometers or something from the base. Yeah, there we go. And we can now fly back down again, and the base will be powered down, so we'll have to cut our way through all the doors, and we're not gonna have the level 3 access, but all the loot will have respawned, um, so you can go ahead and you can loot the base one more time, and you can keep doing this over and over and over again. So once you've done your 10 mission completion, you have your five genetic repairments, you can now head over to do, you can hand in the repairments, and you're done, and you can move on to the next engineer. And then finally, before we end, I would really appreciate if you would consider to go down and liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to hit 100,000 before the end of the year, so if you want more Odyssey videos, unlock guides, tutorials, where to farm materials, how to unlock, suit builds, engineer upgrades, all those kind of good things, then do stay tuned. I will get it to you as fast as I can. That's good for this time. Thanks for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in space.